Hello, this is Leonardo, and in this video I'm going to show you one of the two new modules part of the Bull Mysteries package. And this is the, the Bull Mysteries is a collection of crazy ideas just that I want to to turn out into into useful things. So so far we have dopamine and queen cooks, and I'm gonna make another video about queen cooks, and we're gonna focus now into dopamine. So dopamine is this module. Uh, it's also subtitled the neural tape, and it's based on the concept that uh, our brains are not like a perfect storage of information. If we have an experience, uh, when we tell that experience to someone else, we are practically reconstructing the whole thing. And these memories can be imperfect, so we can forget things or maybe include things that are not there. And if we get a different side of the story, uh, what can happen is that we start reinforcing our memories uh, based on others, other people's story and create something something different. We can get creative with that. The way it's implemented is basically a neural network into this uh, small module that we can uh, use like as a sequencer or as a, uh, an LFO and we can train it and record different things and also create variations of, of what we are seeing. So what I'm going to do, yeah, you, you can find the, the whole information here in the in the Bull Manuals module, uh, web page, sorry. And I have a description on how you can use it. But I'm going to try to explain uh, neural tape like in very simplified terms because there, there is the, the neural networks, uh, depending on the implementation, it can get a little bit complicated, but I'm going to try to make it as, as easy as possible. So we, we have to think about the dopamine, the neural tape, as the brain of this little alien. So we have this little alien that can learn uh, numbers. Let's say that we got that alien on Monday and we, and we start teaching them these numbers in, in this sequence. One, two, three, four. And then we tell the alien, tell me back what I what I just told you. So since his brain is totally new, it, it will tell you back one, two, three, four. And it will continue telling you one, two, three, four, right? So next day, on Tuesday, we change the the sequence. Let's say that we try two, one, four, one, and we tell the alien, okay, tell me back the numbers. So since his memory is a little bit confused, it will start mixing the things up. So it may, t may tell us, for example, one, two, four, one. So in this specific case, in this example, uh, these two numbers are part of the of the first sequence, of the Monday sequence, and these are part of the of Tuesday sequence. But in general, it's gonna it's just gonna uh, output information uh, like different information depending on on what we teach. But one interesting thing is that this this alien brain can start can start getting creative. Let's say on Wednesday we allow it to be creative, and we ask the sequence of numbers. It can tell us something like one, two, five, four. So he created this this uh, number five, and this concept of of being creative or uh, or being imperfect. It's what dopamine uh, in, in the dopamine world is called uh, defects. We have a, a defect control that, that is going to allow to, to read uh, incorrect information. And then we have two concepts in the, in the module. One is the love and the hate, which allow us to, to give re reinforcement to the, to the output. For example, the alien told us like two, two, uh, five, three. And we really liked how this thing sounded, and maybe it was because of the five. So when we press the love button, it will try to figure out what was the important thing that he did. And in the following sequences, uh, he he is it will have more probability of telling us the number five, and not necessarily in this position, like in, in any in any other position, but. 
since uh, the process in his internal reasoning was like, yeah, I said a five here, then it must probably be why he loved this sequence. And we can also do the opposite, which is hating. So we have a sequence which is like two, two, zero, three, and we rate it as, as if we hate it. So the alien is gonna try to reason why, why did he, he hate it? This, these are the numbers or these are the sequence that, that he told me. And he may figure out that it was probably because of the zero. So maybe I should not say zeros because that's why, why he hated. And that's basically how, how dopamine works. And let's go back to the diagram here. So this diagram, uh, we can see that we have the, the central part, which is the, the neural tape. And we have up here a section which is, is, this, uh, is more like the sequencer controls, which we can provide the clock, define the number of steps, resetting, moving back and forward the, the sequence. Then we have in the, the outputs, the, C, the gate and the CV. And on this side, in the CV, we have the offset uh, and range control. That is like a like an attenuator with offset that is going to allow us to, to change uh, where we want the information to be. We also have here uh, like a feedback control. We can feed the output of the neural tape to the to the input. And we have the recording, wiping, uh, the training mechanism, the the reading defects but also the, the actual input that we can enable or disable. Now let's see it into action. So what I have here, it's, the, it's like a very simple voice. I'm gonna, it should be clear. And I have the level of defects to zero. And I have connected my MIDI keyboard to, to the module, to the CV and gate inputs. And I have this uh, clock connected to, to the clock input. And I'm going to play some notes. Oh, I have the volume down. Okay. Let me remove the, the rhythm. I'm going to play some notes. And we can, we can hear that it's just bypassing anything that I'm, that I'm playing because the, the tape is, is empty. So yeah, I'm going to put the hi-hat, which is controlled by, by the clock. And, and I'm going to record like a pair of notes. I'm going to play this one, like these two, these two notes. So the way recording works is that you, you press it once and the, the recording gets armed. And when it reaches the end, it, it's going to start recording. So let me press it like now. It's armed and it's going to start now. Okay, that's what I recorded. You can see that I'm not a very good computer keyboard player, but that's it. So we have provided like initial information to the to the tape, and what we can do now is it's allowing the the brain to to be imperfect by inserting defects. I'm gonna put the level on one, one volt, and I'm gonna increase this this percentage. We can we can hear that this it's already creating like variations, and these these variations uh, have a maximum of one volt, which means in volts per octave world uh, means that uh, it can go one octave up or down. Let me introduce the the kick. And you you can listen there that my that my playback wasn't is, was not very good and it's a little bit uh, not synchronized with the with the kick so what i can do is just press the shift button uh, to move it quad, uh, to move it one step forward and i think it fits better there so one important thing here is that right now uh, dopamine is playing back these notes but i can uh, play I'm, i can keep playing and whatever I play in my keyboard, so when I provide a gate in the CV, whatever I play, it's gonna have preference. So I'm just gonna play like a high note. So this one, this note is having preference.
and so I, I it's, it's, this is an, this is very interesting because we can have like this this thing going on the background and we can still play some some melody on top so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna record like two more notes like that one I'm gonna arm and I'm gonna play it and you can hear that now it's uh, that information got added and now the sequences that is generating uh, are more related to 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 what we have uh, trained so what I want I'm gonna add, like I'm gonna add a few more notes okay before doing that we can like increase the, the level of the effect so it can go like two ups higher or, or down and yeah you can hear how how this how this is behaving and one one thing that we can do as well is uh, start start training training this network let's say that I, I like a lot that that sequence that I listen to so I press lock so and as, as I mentioned with the alien example it's, 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 it's gonna be more it's like in sim sim simply simplified terms, it's just gonna increase the probability of, of playing the same thing over and over. And if I press like multiple times, love, so I love it so much. What happens is that is that we have uh, trained a lot the network, and and it's gonna it's gonna start playing practically only the, the same sequence because we love it so much, so much. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna record some notes on top okay I gave more information so the the, the sequence is it keeps keeps evolving so w one thing that we can do as well as I mentioned is we can hate you can tell it I didn't like what I hear so if you press hate and and those those notes are gonna be are gonna have le like less probability in very simple terms it are gonna have less probability of playing the, the same thing so with hate we can start like exploring like different uh, different variations and, and it, it can reach the point that we have hated so much that it just doesn't know what to play it's not it's not certain what to play when, when we reach that point and we want to start over, we can just like press white and we're clearing the whole thing. So right now, we don't have any information. Let me record back again. Just press some notes and I'm gonna allow some defects. And now we're gonna use the feedbacks so we can just press the feedback button and when we record it's gonna start recording the actual output of dopamine with defects and everything and now we we have created like a new uh, like a new uh, a range of variations that we that we can uh, play i can record again That's it. Let's say that we we like this thing. We can just press lock, and it's gonna it's gonna keep building on, on top of that. And as I mentioned before, I I can still play my notes on top of this. So some of these notes are being played by me in the keyboard. I'm always gonna play play one. So you can. So that that's me. And sometimes let's say that you have a sequencer connected and you want to to stop. Uh, just, just to let dopamine play and not uh, provide more information I can just turn off the input and now if I press anything this is the output of dopamine there is nothing nothing else going I'm gonna record a bit more so I just inserted like this bass note Other interesting thing is that yeah we can change the the number of steps uh, to any value that we want. 
starting from one, of course. And all the records that we have been doing are 32 steps, and if we use open to 64, uh, those steps get spread all, all around in the tape. So it doesn't matter really just, but we can record uh, now a sequence of 64 steps. So just recorded as 64 steps and is now is playing back combined with, with all the information that was already in the tape and also with the defects. So this is basically it. And but this is I mean this model is not is not exclusive for, for playing back notes. We can uh, we can do let's let me duplicate it and initialize it. Let me wipe everything because it also kept all the information. And let's add an LFO. LFO one. This one I'm gonna add a saw wave and a scope. Low, and I'm gonna use the same clock. This one. So right now the tape is empty, and we can see that this is getting defects. I'm gonna uh, reduce this. I'm gonna arm it, and it's gonna start recording on the next time. The next time, I'm gonna make it slow. Even when we, when we see nothing, uh, it, it actually recorded some information. We can see this is what I recorded. So I can actually delete this one now. And we can the same add defects, like change the level of defects that we want, and we're getting this this new 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 shape. And we can alter even more that by feeding back and recording again the it, it, its own output. So now I can use that one, for example, to control the decay of. And with these two, we can change the range. For example, like that, or even more aggressive, changing the offset. I want to use that one as well as modulation to basal. And we can record other other signals, other, for example, caudal, which output very different signals to compared to to the LFO. So I just press record. And that's it. Now we have some uh, chaotic output generated by Caudal combined with the with our saw wave combined also with the defects. That's it. That's basically dopamine. That's, uh, it's been a very interesting model for me uh, because I, I can very easily combine it with other sequencers and, and just using it to add variations to create uh, some crazy LFOs like this that are at the same time are repetitive and, and all, always changing depending how I train it. And yeah, uh, so I think that there are going to be some other videos uh, covering dopamine made by, uh, by other of your favorite VCV rack YouTubers. So if, if, if there are any, I'm going to post those links into the description of the video uh, so you can check them later. So thank you and goodbye.